Hello SOLIDWORKS community and welcome back for part two of this three-part series involving Pinewood Derby racing. In this video, we will be performing some virtual Pinewood Derby races using our various designs to see which one should be the fastest. If we've done a good job, we should be able to beat our control car. Let's check it out. Now that we have some car designs completed and ready for speed testing, we need all of the parts of the real race environment. Again, going to 3D Content Central gave me a great starting point where I downloaded all of the track components. Now we will build the assembly. I already brought in the track itself, and I also made a starting plane on the track where we will line up the cars. I made the various car designs as different configurations so it is easy to bring them in and change the configuration. We need to position the car on the track, so let's get into our make command. We will first position the car on the center of the track by using the width make. We must make two selections on the track and then two on the car. The mate then centers the car on the track. Next, we will mate the wheels to the track using tangency mates. And finally, we want to mate the nose of the car to the starting block, which is the plane that we put in at the beginning. Now that our cars are in place, let's start to set up the virtual race. We will be using SOLIDWORKS Motion for this analysis, which is available in SOLIDWORKS Premium and the other SOLIDWORKS simulation tools. Inside the Motion study, we must make this analysis a motion analysis, which allows us to treat this study with real-life physics. After this, we now need to suppress all of those mates that we just added to the assembly, except for the mates holding the track in place. This will allow the cars to freely move on the track once we add a few more items to the study. The next step is to add gravity to the study. Simply select the Newton's Apple icon and select what direction gravity should be. With gravity added, if we were to run the study, the cars would fall in the direction of gravity, albeit through the track since they are not mated in place to a grounded item. So we now need to add contact sets between the cars and the track. In this case, we will grab the car assembly as well as the track. We will use dry aluminum for the track and nylon for the wheels. If you know the specific coefficient of friction between the selected materials that you are running, then you can also enter that into the contact set. We now need to do this step for each car. It's nice to have a visual of what happens in the motion analysis, but what if we also want some additional data out of the software? Let's show a couple of plots that we can look at after the study is complete. The first one that we will look at is called the trace plot. This will allow us to select a point on one of our cars to see where they go during the analysis. This is really a great tool if you are running a study of the flight of a ball or something similar to that. The next plot that we will enter is the center of mass position. This plot will show us where the cars are on the track at any given time step. We can also apply this to all of the cars and plot their locations on a single graph. This is a rinse and repeat task where we just do the same thing over and over.
The last thing I do is suppress the camera orientation so that I can view the results from any camera angle I want. With these steps complete, the study is now set up. Now we just need to calculate the results and then see what happens. Once the study is complete, we can see exactly how long it took the cars to reach the finish line. With the result plots that we set up, we can see the car locations at the various time steps, and the black line behind the block car is the trace plot. What's fun about these types of studies is that SOLIDWORKS does a great job with real physics problems. And with a little video editing software, you can create an easily consumable presentation. Please join us again as we wrap up the series on the Pinewood Derby.